How often should you weigh yourself if your goal is maximum weight loss? Now, let's kick things off by explaining that scale weight is indiscriminate. So it can tell you how much your body weighs, but it cannot tell you your body composition. So you may know your body weight, but you won't know how much body fat you have at that weight. Now, scale weight is also susceptible to short-term fluctuations. Things like changes in total body water, glycogen, or even bowel movements can influence how much you weigh. So if scale weight is susceptible to short-term fluctuations, it doesn't really make sense to weigh yourself on a daily basis. Well, that's what a lot of people would agree with. However, something can be an imperfect tool, yet still be a useful one. For example, pedometers and activity trackers have margins of error, yet they can still promote activity which in turn can still promote weight loss. Food recall and food diaries are notoriously unreliable. However, they can promote accountability which in turn can promote weight loss. So although scale weight is far from a perfect tool, could it be used to help promote weight loss if you weighed yourself frequently enough? So, Data on this is very, very hit or miss, and that's because it largely relies on self-reported data. So what that means is that someone will tell you how often they're weighing themselves. However, we know that people can go through periods of weighing themselves more or less frequently. Now, they may not also weigh themselves at exact intervals, so not everyone will weigh themselves exactly every day, exactly every week, or exactly every month. It may be a little bit hit or miss. Now, in general, the majority of the research supports an association between more frequent weighing and better weight loss outcomes. So some research suggests that weighing yourself daily is associated with better weight loss outcomes than weighing yourself weekly, which is again better than weighing yourselves monthly. Now, one analysis showed that because there is a correlation between how often you weigh yourself and how much weight you lose, a theoretical minimum for people who wanted to maintain their body weight worked out to be 5.8 days. So weighing themselves around once a week, with people weighing themselves more frequently losing weight and people weighing themselves less frequently gaining weight. Now there are a couple of reasons for this. Number one, weighing yourself helps keep you accountable. For example, people at weight, weight loss clubs that weigh themselves on a certain day of the week I know will change their eating habits going up to it and they are less likely to binge at a weekend if they know their weighing is on a Monday. Also, because people are weighing themselves, they have quicker data to react to. So for example, if you have a couple of days of overeating and you immediately see the weight, uh, your body weight starting to go up, you can adjust your eating patterns and change it. Whereas if people are only weighing themselves once a month, they'll be oblivious to what happens. So you can make smaller changes after monitoring your body weight, which helps promote weight loss. So from an anecdotal perspective, I never used to weigh myself daily because I didn't see the point. However, when I was dieting for a photo shoot, I switched to daily weigh-ins and I found number one, I got better weight loss than I did previously because I could change what I was doing more frequently if necessary. Number two, I actually found that I had less anxiety towards the scale than I did previously because I became more familiar and therefore more accepting of short-term fluctuations, rather than the typical thing of standing on the scale and freaking out if it's higher than expected. So for example, here's a snapshot of my weekly weigh-ins. Now you'll see towards the end of the week there is a little bit of a spike. Now if I weighed myself once a week and that was the day I weighed myself on, I may have thought, God, I'm making no progress, and I may have freaked out. However, because I weighed myself on a daily basis, that became familiar to me and I was more accepting of that. And I knew that when wearing myself daily, I could take an average and I could see that my weight loss was trending downwards. So weighing yourself more frequently gives you more data to play with and lets you adjust your habits to suit. So what are the take home messages for you? Weighing yourself is likely to be better than not weighing yourself at all when your goal is weight loss. Now, weighing yourself is also likely to be better than not weighing yourself at all if your goal is weight maintenance after a diet. So people who didn't weigh themselves gained more weight than people who did after a diet ended. Now, more frequent weighing is likely to be better for weight loss than less frequent weighing for the reasons I've described already. And it is important to note that some people propose negative psychological outcomes like obsessiveness when weighing yourself too frequently. However, there is also data that refutes this. So take it with a pinch of salt, be aware of it when prescribing it for yourself or for clients, and adjust accordingly. There is no blanket black or white on that. So that's it. I hope it's been helpful and thank you for watching.